So people have been asking me how I do this effect while live stream. Now this is a very cool effect which you can use in your live stream. This effect will only work on OBS and Studio, not Streamlabs OBS. So if you're using Streamlabs OBS, I'm sorry, but this video is not for you. This is only for OBS Studio. And all you need is one plugin and it's called the Move Transition, which is from Exeldro. And you can find the link in the description. So step one, click on the download button. This will bring up a window where you can choose your preferred download. I use the Windows installer as it automatically installs on my OBS. And once it's downloaded, you will need to install the program. And once it's installed, restart your OBS studio. So first of all, we need to create a new scene. So you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to call this the background tutorial. And then press OK. So we have a brand new scene. So go to sources and you need to add an image source. And then locate the image you want to use. Hopefully you found a really good image. Now I'm going to use the same one I've got in the tutorial. Press OK. Now it is a 4K image and I'm only using a 1920 by 1080 thing. So I do need to transform it back a smaller size to fit the screen. Make sure it's in the position where you want it. That looks about good. Yeah, that looks OK. So you need to right click and add a filter. And we need to add a color correction. And that's all you need to do. So once you got it, click close. And now we need to add another source, which is a media source. Then click OK and then browse and then look for the music you want to use in the background. And also click a close file when inactive. And press OK. Now you need to check if the volume level on your music is either clipping, which mine is nearly. So just turn the volume down a little bit so it doesn't clip. You have three dots in the corner. You need to right click and then add a filter. And you need to add an audio filter. And we're looking for audio move. Now meter type, set that to pick true. And action, you need to set that to settings, source. You need to find your source that is the background image on the filter click on color correction now don't worry about the picture at the moment we will sort that out so on the settings you want to change it to hue shift and then press close now on the image right click go to filters and turn down the gamma on the color correction and there you go it works turn up the saturation if you want so to hear the audio click on the three dots advanced audio properties scroll down until you see your song so media source three put on to monitor and output and also click the boxes what track you want the music to be playing on and then press close. So this is how I get this effect on my live streams. So I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a massive like. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, why not? It is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Devil.